All right, hey guys, a little update on the Slinger. Uh, attack Angle has the first flight, that's A-T-T-A-C-K-A-N-G-L-E, Attack Angle uh, channel on YouTube. That's my flying buddy. And uh, he has the first attempt at a flight with this uh, plane, which ended uh, after just a few seconds in a, in a wreck. Uh, consequently, she's flown three more times, each time a wreck due to uh, what I'm now discovering was probably a, a faulty uh, motor. Now, what I've done, and I will now flip to the plane. This is the Slinger. As you can see, I've painted the uh, tips yellow so I could see them. Uh, I went ahead and put the brushed motor. That's just a little old 380 with a something like a 4x3 prop or something. It's a little tiny prop on there. Uh, not a lot of thrust, as we're going to see in a minute. But uh, some of the ensuing accidents and repairs, and that little hum is one of the servos, um, this was big hunk of foam eaten out by a fence. Uh, did the carbon fiber uh, reinforcement uh, epoxy the spar. That right there is the uh, spar. Uh, hot glued the, uh, the wing together there. Uh, of course, I have the uh, carbon fiber reinforcements across the wing. Uh, this is all uh, epoxied, which has really been very sturdy. This is a little launching mechanism I put on there because it doesn't weigh hardly anything. The uh, the one that the little launch keel that they send it with a plywood piece weighs very. It weighs about an ounce. It's pretty dang heavy. Uh, now here is the original motor that I had on. It's about a 400 class uh, brushless motor that apparently is uh, thermo uh, overloading and shutting down or something. It had an 8x6 prop on there. So that's why I have these huge uh, cutouts on the uh, uh, Elevons. Uh, rec number two or three broke these and so I put some doubling in here with some balsa and carbon fibered it in to give the uh, uh, control horns some meat on the back. Now on this one also I, I added another carbon fiber strip to uh, give it some uh, cross grain uh, strength. Now uh, I have had, in fact, uh, uh, Tack Angle has been kind enough not to actually publish a few of my uh, uh, last exploits with this plane, but I have been flying it without any of this because uh, uh, one of the first accidents, everything broke here, but I'll kind of pull it off and show you what I've done is that I have uh, the brushless there. That's a, a 18 amp. They require a 15 amp. That's an 18 amp ESC, uh, which is getting hot, by the way. The motor is also getting hot. I run a 11.1 uh, uh, volt a LiPo in there. I'm going to turn out the lights so that you can see the... Uh, there you go. You can see the uh, right here and right here, this is the uh, main uh, receiver. This is uh, a AR6200 Spectrum. There's the uh, uh, transmitter right there. And here's the remote. And so you can see that they are bound. Um, I have glued these uh, on numerous times. They, they do tend to pop off pretty easy. I didn't screw them on. I just uh, epoxied or hot glue, whichever. The... Uh, the fuselage here is all hot glued on because uh, in this configuration the motor mount is actually part of this little plastic piece here which is not all that stout so I hot glued it on. Uh, the motor is actually on there pretty pretty solidly. Uh, we'll see how it flies. Uh, Tack Angle and I are going out flying in the morning and we'll see. Now I'm going to hold it up and uh, hit some throttle here the uh, the brushed motor or the brushless motor rather had a uh, uh, boy a lot of thrust almost a one to one ratio of thrust a lot of power this little motor here with this tiny prop that comes with it is uh, pretty wimpy um, I think it'll fly because I'm looking at less weight with the brushed motor what I had to do and you can see it a little bit here is I had to mount it whoops there's the there's a brush mount not a brush mount, it's a stick mount right there. I cut it off, but that was a stick mount, and I had to stick this motor out here uh, about this far, which really messed with the uh, center of gravity of the plane. 
And so with the, uh, the stock motor in here, the center of gravity is much higher or uh, much uh, closer to normal. And I didn't have to add as much weight. When I said higher, I mean the, the weight is lower. I didn't have to add as much weight. At one point, I actually had probably two ounces of weight in the, the very tip here uh, to, uh, to try to balance the thing. Uh, now we're balancing with just a little bit of weight there. I've got this sticking out, but we're balancing with just a little bit of weight uh, in the nose. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, she'll have a slower uh, speed because of that. Now I'm going to crank up the motor and we'll see. Not, not a lot of a thrust compared to uh, what was in her before. Uh, it's almost an uh, embarrassing uh, amount. I do not know how this thing will fly. Um, I have a feeling that it will fly. It, it's uh, probably three ounces lighter than it was uh, due to uh, uh, removal of some reinforcement and the motor mount and that motor being way in back of the uh, CG so that I had to add so much weight in the front even with the brushed motor it's probably lighter um, and we will see tomorrow uh, how she flies I'm very anxious to uh, check her out um, and I will post more then see ya